Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North, Node. Come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest. If there's anything that you need to know in regards to how to get a reading, please refer to the description box down below. I do also have a membership where you can take advantage of the perks on this channel where you get exclusive videos. I already did one and that was a celebrity read. I won't be doing those on my channel. However, I do certain exclusive reads that I will also start including for you guys. But I thought that I would keep those as exclusive reads for you all to have. So let's see what's going on. What's in your energy currently? What do you need to know for Virgo? So we have the Knight of Cups upright. We also have the Hierophant in reverse, which is kind of contradicting. It's like it doesn't go hand in hand. Page of Swords is at the bottom of the deck with the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. Hmm. Virgo. I don't know why I'm hearing that song, Unofficial Girl, by Cassie. Somebody wants you to be theirs unofficially, though, which is weird because it's like they're not saying it as an official, but they want you to be theirs unofficially. Um, somebody wants to give you a cup, but they don't know how much they can commit to the situation or if you two are compatible religion wise or somebody is battling something going against their religion to be with somebody that is outside of their country or whatever this is that's what i'm getting here we have two different pages we have the page of wands and the page of swords Somebody's mad that whatever somebody has to say is taken in a negative sense or somebody's concluding something negatively about what somebody is saying and it's pissing someone off. Okay. What I was picking up on is that somebody here is facing a harsh reality of a person not taking much time to take somebody seriously to give them a cup and now this person have has moved on with another individual three of cups the high priestess yeah somebody's mad because they're not they weren't aware of some sort of relationship that you were involved in or vice versa this could have been you and how you feel towards their situation okay let it fit where it may. Take the rest and leave it behind if it's not for you. This could be future situations as well. So keep that in mind. It's not always what's going on currently. Everybody is going through different stages of their life. So please use your common sense. Okay. Anyway. Let's see here. I actually wanted to pull a message for the Hierophant to see why it's here in reverse. The Hierophant is the Taurus energy. Knight of Cups is water. So Five of Wands clarifies the Hierophant. Five of Wands, anything Wands is fire sign. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody feels like they have to defend a particular individual group or their family, what they believe in. Somebody, ha somebody has the energy of needing to defend something that they feel strongly on. Okay. And if it doesn't correlate with what you want or if it doesn't correlate with what they want, then somebody is just at peace with it. Like they're okay with that. All right. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything else for Virgo. What's the energy? What do we need to know? So again, two more cards. Queen of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands. So Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands. We have a Water Sign Feminine and a Fire Sign Masculine. We have the Star card under the bottom of the deck in reverse. And we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. And then Judgment. Somebody here feels like they have to put up some sort of fight with an individual to get some sort of answer. But whatever it is that they were hoping for, it still ended up in disappointment. It's like somebody feels like they're pulling teeth with an individual and they don't want to lose themselves trying to chase somebody that isn't trying to make shit happen. They're only like watching you live your life but they're not doing anything to better the situation. It's like somebody's falling on deaf ears. Yep, Ace of Swords, I can't make this up. Somebody loves you, but it's like a forbidden love. That's what it feels like, Two of Wands. It's like somebody's supposed to keep their distance because they know they're either not good for you or there's something destructive, destructive about the relationship. Or somebody feels like they won't be good enough for you. This is just in, interpreted as somebody not being enough for you or cannot fulfill what your needs are. In a relationship. Yep, it's the way that they feel. Justice. Somebody is the one that's telling themselves that they have to fight against this love. I don't know. You, you quench somebody's appetite. But there's so much more that somebody is looking at here. Somebody has options. And it looks like somebody is being told what to do behind the scenes. But this Queen of Swords means business. Okay. There's a Queen of Swords that's running shit. Or somebody that's in that energy. Okay, we have victory. So something's going in your favor, number 52. Okay, something's no longer going to be stagnant here, Virgo. Look, there's an important revelation, number 39. Important revelation about somebody that's found their way. They're no longer worried about the childish things or a child.
somebody's moving on without a widow and a child. Okay. What's this important revelation? Hmm. Tell me more about this important revelation. Important revelation for Virgo. Ooh. Somebody's leaving something toxic behind here because it's not serving them any emotional purpose. Lies are about to be exposed. This could be a Capricorn or water sign energy. Look, Knight of Wands. Hmm. Somebody thought that they could they could screw a person. They could screw a person so that they wouldn't be left out in the cold or left alone to feel abandoned. Somebody's sexually connecting with this, this, this person and keeping them. Yeah, like I said, somebody's using an, an individual as a trophy. They don't really love them here. Somebody wants to leave a situation. I promise you, Eight of Cups, the person that this individual is dealing with, they don't really love this individual, whoever this person is. The numbers 12 and 7 could also be significant. Tell me more here for Virgo. Okay. This woman, Queen of Cups, wants to take a trip to the country, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen or something could be um, unavailable or somebody. Somebody was supposed to go on some sort of date or spending time with an individual. But it's like somebody stopped those plans or said, let me make it up to you. I got something that's coming up for me. I can't do it. I'll check in with you later. Numbers 13 and 37 could be significant. Hmm. We have impediment and pensioner. So this is a younger individual that seems incompetent. He's incompetent because he wants to, he's supposed to surprise somebody with some sort of uh, letter or gesture in communication and hasn't been able to. Somebody is only physically great at ex exploring expression of themselves, but like verbally they're not so good what's the message Virgo I've been born 1979 Somebody tried to cause you some sort of harm. But whatever they did, it's it's definitely going back to them. Whoever did these graveyard spells or death magic on you, it's going back to them. The countdown has already started. Whatever gifts that they tried to uh, pull from you, you're going to be receiving the same dreams that they wanted for themselves and they're going to be switching places where they're stressed out like you were. Somebody may have taken something that had belonged to you and, and buried it. This could have been an article of clothing, something that, that belongs to you to bury it, to do these uh, graveyard magic or spell work. 
and put uh, roses on this grave to make it real, like you have passed on. But everything that they set a trap for you to die, it's happening to them. And the countdown has already started. And now you get to sit back and live your life where you don't have to do one thing but watch every everything go down in real time. <laughs> Why me I tell you? Number 61 could be significant. What's the message here? Look, we have coffin. Somebody just dug themselves a hole and they're about to go into it, straight into it. Hmm. This could be a lover of yours or somebody from your family member group that caused you some sort of injustice all because they wanted a change or some sort of greed. We have message of concern number 14. There's a feminine energy that is concerned about some sort of message that she is receiving or not receiving. Okay, she can't differentiate whether it's from a person that she can authenticate or not. Okay, somebody's afraid to go home. Somebody doesn't have the gifts that you have and it's the third eye. Her third eye isn't open. So she can't figure out what's going on prematurely. But she isn't the divine feminine. She's a karmic. She's scared shitless. Okay. In the middle of the deck, unexpected income. Virgo, tell me more about what's going on. Oof, I didn't even have to shuffle. It was already there. So we have coins. Good luck is showing up again for you guys, Virgo. I'm also getting the water energy. There's something about the water. Somebody could live close to water. Or in body of water. Whether it's going for a swim or whatever this is. I heard skinny dipping. Okay. Somebody here could be skinny dipping in the daytime or late at night. Somebody could have a big nose, a wide nose, or somebody's nose can hang like a beak. I heard a pelican. Okay. I'm also getting mirror reflection the number 20 and traffic cone caution number 32 somebody could be between the ages of 20 to 32 or 20 to 39 i'm sorry somebody needs to start paying attention to what's in the mirror because there's something that you need to Focus on taking a look at or reflecting on to make sure that you draw a line in the sand to put up boundaries to anything that's going to bring you bad energy. That's what I'm picking up. Enlightenment. I heard enlighten me. What's the message for Virgo? We have a dagger. So you have some fear, worries, or tense situations surrounding a message that is supposed to be coming towards you. You want to know what the results are. Or uh, maybe you're just very anxious about like the time frame of waiting. Okay. I do see that there's some sort of unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Because whatever it was, it was going to bring you a sense of lack or or um, stress depression yep 
let's see actually what is what are you in fear of what is your fear and or worry at this time for virgo finding peaceful ground mutual cause to bring something together again because you've lost all passion because of some sort of mistake that might have happened or not, whatever this is here. I think that somebody is overthinking something. Some, somebody's doing something opposite of what they're supposed to do spiritually or taking advice from somebody that they had no business taking advice from. Okay. Tell me more. What is this five of wands doing in reverse for Virgo? Five of wands in reverse for Virgo. We have the four of swords. Somebody wants to lay something to rest. Hey, okay, they've waited long enough. Whether this is you or a person that's external to you. Somebody here is just ready to get something over with. That's the judgment here. Tell me more about what's going on. Okay. The tower. There's some sort of solid foundation or success with effort that you're coming into. And somebody is entering your life, but beware of greed. Because the person that's coming in could be working against you. Could be trying to cause discord among friends or family. Somebody is trying to take over your friends, your job, your family, the people that were once close to you, they're trying to get close to so that they can be a you 2.0, okay? Okay? What are the answers to your questions in regards to the situation for Virgo? What are the answers to your questions in regards to this situation currently? What does your spirit guides want you to know? There's no need to worry. None whatsoever. Okay. Something here will be happening within the next year or a year from now. Hmm. What's the message for Virgo? What do we need to know? So we have a short-term commitment. You have some sort of short-term commitment to whatever this sacrifice was supposed to be for. Somebody here could have gotten a sample of your blood or wanted a sample of your blood to, to sacrifice you it's a false feminine okay we have the number 888 so this is crazy somebody here was trying to use your dna or your blood to sacrifice you so that she could be in a position to have this 888 energy that you're in This is crazy. We have future wife or husband. So somebody's planning some sort of marriage. And that's why they needed to break you and this person up. Because they seen that it was going to go further than it would have if something didn't fall apart. You are spiritually protected from dark energies and magic. You can't be touched. Okay? Somebody is getting bored sleeping with a, an individual, but this could also be a red flag here. Do not allow somebody to come in and violate your terms. Somebody is battling demons. 
give me one more tidbit information for Virgo. Somebody's hiding evidence. What evidence? This could be in regards to a friend's family member or involving a friend's family member. However it goes, this person is in this masculine energy that's hiding evidence, okay? This person could be putting you through spiritual warfare. Just because you fight for what you want and what you love with your spiritual energy, somebody's trying to counteract everything that you're trying to do. They're trying to put you in short-term commitments so you will not have a future wife or husband or for you not to be somebody's future wife or husband. They're trying to delay you in, their, in this life because you're in this 888 energy. You've opened some sort of gates to prosperity and abundance here. What's the message? Virgo. Look, we have wisdom. We have mirrors in reverse. And it's so funny because mirror and mirror is there in two different decks in the same position. Okay? So mirrors is in reverse, but in the upright, it would mean that you are projecting internal struggles outward, but it looks like you're no longer having those struggles because you are reflecting on the things that you are seeing right in front of you, okay? We have the journey. So you're understanding the lessons that you had to go through in order to be insightful about the path that you're walking on. And we have rest. Four of swords, nine of swords energy. Spirit is telling you that whatever this is, keep going on this journey. You're on the right path here. Okay? Tell me more about what's going on with Virgo. What's the message? What do we need to know, Holy Spirit? Okay. So somebody's refusing to testify. testify. Somebody's refusing to testify because of some sort of intimidation that they're under. You're being delivered from some sort of spiritual warfare. This is a spiritual court that you're going to here. I believe that you are highly favored amongst your angels and others. Okay? And somebody's name could be Liana, Mendoza, Dominic, Hall, Garrison, Noel, Zayamara, Fisher, Lorelai, and Porter. Okay? Those could be first and or last names. Somebody's confirmation about a situation is a yes. Somebody's pretending to be oblivious to what's going on here and could have been married for status and or papers. Somebody could have said yes to a person that they thought wanted to be with them, but only wanted to marry them for status and or papers. And it looks like a transformation is taking place, okay? There is a new beginning that's being welcomed into a cycle here. I'm getting that somebody's collecting a paper trail to make sure that a mother or father loses access to their children. Somebody thinks that shit's a game here. But you have people in higher places that admire your standards that you have for not only yourself, but others as well. I'm also getting insurance claim and or fraud. Somebody's trying to get you involved in this or somebody could have been involved in this. This could have been you or somebody external to you or somebody that's using your name, okay? Somebody wanted to live up to the same standards as you. This person's hair or hair type could be curly 
or wavy, you're supposed to get some sort of ins insurance. I was going to say insurance, but inheritance. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting tired. Somebody is supposed to receive an inheritance from, the, from a death in the family. Remember, this person has been trying to sacrifice you because they want to get this inheritance money. And in order to do that, they had to draw some blood or um, do a blood sacrifice so that they can enter your, your energy because you have an old soul. But it's not going to happen that way. And let me just tell you right now, the person that you're inheriting this money from that may be passing on or so, somebody tried to sacrifice you to get this money, just know that you won't need a confirmation letter to get this money. You're going to be gifted this money from your angels, ancestors, and guides. Okay? There could have been a case around a hotel room. Okay? Okay? Somebody could have been sent a bill after spending some time in a hotel room on vacation. Okay? Somebody was raped. Somebody didn't see it coming. They got a surprise pop-up visit from an individual, whether they knew this person or not. The same person that they may have not spoken to for a very long time could have been near their area or tracking them here. This was somebody's homework or assignment for the past few weeks. Okay. This could have been a single mother and or father that has a child or children. And it looks like this person has been getting updates on you or a particular individual and or person, okay? I'm hearing this, it could be somebody's cousin. Somebody's cousin allowed somebody to lose their apartment, but somebody here will be comp recompensated. Somebody here was spotted with a individual that's from the industry. Tell me more. What's the message? I also see that somebody here has very wide, wild eyes. Okay. This person could have been spotted outside. Near somewhere where you'll be. But you have so much positive spiritual alignment that no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. This is why you're in this content energy. For some of you, you could have been given a modeling gig or have um, been complimented that you could be a model, okay, but you've always felt limited, okay, because of somebody else's dreams or aspirations. Somebody here is a fiancé. We have brunch. Somebody here could be proposing to a, an individual or engaging a person, okay? Okay. Somebody is coming clean about a particular individual that they had some sort of physical encounter with. Okay. Hmm. There could be some sort of technical difficulties in the next eight days surrounding sobriety somebody could be breaking their sobriety here this could be an aquarius what's the message for virgo what do we need to know for virgo holy spirit So there's a no strings attached, but they have feelings that they are trying to hide. They lose control easily and are not easily consolable.
he might have been in a no strings attached type of relationship with an individual that now is going through emotional turmoil. This person thinks that what others are doing is beneath them and that they are better than them, but they're the ones that put you in a third party situation. So the jokes on them here, they're no better than you. Okay. Tell me more. We have Samaritan. Somebody refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. Somebody needs to refine their capacity to help those that they would preferably ignore. Okay, like this masculine. You need to find the ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom to this individual. They truly need it. There's something about the way that you teach or how you learn is different. Let's see what your person is thinking about while they're thinking about you. What's the message here, Virgo? This person wants to know if you can forgive them. They see a lot of you in themselves. They could see themselves losing themselves in you because you are amazing. This person is working on ascending themselves here. I guess this is an extra message. Okay, it looks like they have nothing to say. They still care about you. That's what I'm seeing here. They want more, but they're scared. They don't know how to approach the situation. This is something that's on their mind because the Knight of Cups is here on the table. However, they feel like they're fighting against what they're either taught or going against everything that they have learned or experienced in their culture or what they've seen could be conflicting, okay? There's a lot of outside influence that's going on in this situation. Tell me more what's going on for Virgo. Okay, so we have angel numbers. You are seeing a lot of number syncs at this time because your spiritual guides are reaching out to you to let you know that they're there and they want you to know that the messages that are coming out are for a reason, okay? Spirit is telling you to focus on leveling up the way that you are right now and not focusing on romantic thoughts at this time, denying people access that don't have no right to the upgrades that you're coming into, okay? A lot of people are going to see you doing things that they never dreamt of seeing you in, and it's going to make them want to come towards you. Beware of these people because... They transform physically, but not mentally or spiritually, okay? And that's something that they need to work on. So cleanse your space and your aura. All spells that were casted are being sent back or returned to the sender. And I think that somebody's using sexual energy to send to you, okay? But don't go into that direction here, okay? Dark confessions for Virgo. Dark confessions for Virgo at this time. Overall energy here is I need to free myself from fear and doubts. I am a caged bird. I tried to run from this connection, but my soul craves you. I feel abandoned by you, and it is triggering my childhood traumas. Can I get one more for Virgo? So this person is living two separate lives from you. I'm not really sure what that means, 
There are feelings of anger inside me that I need to release before I explode. I cannot be vulnerable with you. I'd rather hide in the darkness before I let you see inside me. So I want to know what this person means by we are living two separate lives. What type of lifestyle is your person living that you're currently... So it looks like this person is, is in jail currently, incarcerated. The Page of Pentacles talks about this person not learning lessons and repeating karmic cycles here. Okay, and they don't want you to interfere with what they got going on, okay, in their life. Somebody here could be in a same-sex relationship, not saying this has to be all. If it doesn't apply to you, let it fly. Let's see here, Virgo, what we need to know. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides. What do we need to know? What's the message for Virgo? So we have sabotage. Somebody here is trying not to sabotage what they've been longing for. Somebody is focusing on self-worth and trying to re remain positive that they will get this breakthrough that they're looking for. Okay. What's the message for Virgo? Somebody here is definitely going through a shift. But there needs to be an energy of openness. This is for a feminine here. Tell me more about Virgo. Okay. There's a masculine that has been deceptive or is intentionally being deceptive. I feel like this person isn't afraid of revisiting something from the past but this is something that you need to free yourself from whoever this person is they could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius feminine or masculine okay yeah spirit is telling you to remember you know this is this is something that you shouldn't trust especially if it's not divine timing you need to release it is what spirit is saying Okay, let's see what this person is exactly being deceptive about. Like, what is their plan? What is this masculine being deceptive about? What's his intentions? Wow. I'm hearing payback's a bitch. Okay. Somebody wants to get back at you. They want to be in this devil energy. They want to cause you some sort of pain here. Okay, but I feel like spirit is telling you to use your discernment. Do not allow this person back into your life. What's the message, Virgo? What do we need to know? We have secrets in reverse. Damn. Somebody no longer wants to hold back secrets. Somebody understands that they have been the karmic, karmic for quite some time. That they've showed their shadow side a lot, but now wants to explain everything. Okay, somebody's going to be taking action towards you. It could be a karmic feminine here. Somebody's going to try to issue some sort of funds out of you. Or bringing this masculine towards you to get this, this money. So be aware, okay? 
Look. Somebody is getting some sort of spiritual awakening. Somebody's opening up to their guide. Somebody's getting in touch with their spiritual side here is what I'm getting. Somebody doesn't want to be a player no more. Yep. I'm, I'm getting options in reverse. Yep. Again, somebody wants to apologize for putting you through what they have now that they've grasped a new sense of perspective. They are in regret of not taking the opportunity to develop a friendship after things didn't work out. They felt like they didn't do much to fix a situation, but they can't let go or won't let go. Somebody is willing to work through some sort of compromise, but it seems like they're not awakened. They've, they've gone back. They backslid. So this is why you should reject them here is what Spirit is saying. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own personal love reading, be sure to email me. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.